I got my camera back. Yay! Hello, welcome back to my room. Welcome back to my camera. Bye bye Isaac's camera, I don't need you anymore. <laughs> Quarantine is driving me a little bit crazy. Um, I wouldn't say I'm bored. It's actually making me very stressed, I have to say, and not for like the reasons you probably think. Like it's not, I'm not stressed about the virus. I'm stressed because I feel like I've got so much time now that I should be doing everything that I've been putting off. I'm like making myself do a million things a day, like writing myself checklists and like expecting myself to do absolutely everything. The other day I stumbled across Emma Chamberlain's what things to do when you're bored video. And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna do these things. I'm just gonna like, I'm gonna relax. And I'm just gonna like do this list that Emma has given us. See how it goes. <sighs> I'm tired. I don't wanna go to Pluto, I'm tired. I don't understand why I'm not TikTok famous yet. I've just been on TikTok for a while now and I'm just not famous yet and I'm sad. I'm actually sad. <laughs> I actually have no talent. I was literally just thinking about this. I can't dance, I can't do makeup, I'm not funny. Oh my God, why is the start of this video so depressing? Okay, so the first thing to do is learn how to do the splits um this is quite funny because i've always wanted to be able to do the splits i just don't think i'm ever going to be able to do splits for you emma i'm going to do the stretches that you recommended and i've drawn little diagrams here to try and remember the exact stretches so we're gonna start like this i think okay and then go back into this one. Oh my god did you just hear that click and then this Ow. Oh my god, I feel like this is my workout for the day. And then back down here. And then, in the words of Emma Chamberlain, she goes, and then just slide into the splits. Which I cannot do. But here we are. I'm actually going to do it on the other leg as well, just because Emma didn't, and that kind of triggered me. Oh my god, I'm sweating. I made myself a coffee because... I was fucking exhausted. And this won't be an Emma Chamberlain video without coffee, of course. EmmaChamberlainCoffee.com Imagine just like being so famous that other people will just like plug your coffee for free. Wow. The next thing is doing colourful makeup. I don't know if anyone has stalked back to my old YouTube videos, but I actually used to do some makeup videos. Uh, they're terrible. So yeah, basically what I'm saying is I am a beauty guru. So today we're gonna try and do a colourful eyeshadow look. Don't know how this is gonna go because I literally only have one eyeshadow brush. These are my three makeup palettes that I own. So I'm gonna be using the, what's it? Young World and Cruelty Free Tarte Palette. It smells amazing. 10 out of 10 will recommend. Look at these beautiful colours. Shout out to Meg for buying this for me. Oh my god. Wait, there's way more pigmented than I expected. I honestly like wish I was good at makeup just so that I had a talent. Makeup is actually so fun. Like if I lived on my own, I'd probably like mess around with it more. But the fact that I know that if I were to like just leave my room, I'd bump into like four family members and they'd be like, what are you doing? I didn't even do colors. I was meant to do a colorful makeup. I'm gonna add glitter and I love this glitter. This is the NYX glitter. Oh my God, I don't even have a mirror. This stuff goes everywhere. Wow, that looks terrible. <laughs> I'm gonna just through my fringe. It's like the girl from the breakfast club. Ugh. Okay, that's my eye makeup lip gum. I'm gonna go take it off now. Okay, so the next thing Emma does is she does art and she says make art and then she does watercolor painting, but I don't have any paints or anything. So I decided to just do what I did in my last video, which is bleaching jeans. So I have more bleach, um, still not a lot. I don't actually know how much is in here. I'm hoping enough because I'm actually going to do a nice pair of jeans. These are a new pair, of, well, new for me. They're secondhand still because I only buy secondhand clothes. But um, I'm going to try and bleach half of them. Fingers crossed they come out okay because these ones I actually would like to wear because these jeans actually fit me and I like these jeans. <laughs> but even if they don't come out amazing, I it's not the end of the world because they're not like brand new and I didn't pay loads of money for them. Um, and if you hadn't noticed, I got changed into my mum's clothes because, yeah, I didn't want to get bleach on my clothes. So let's let's give this a go. I also have a brush to like spread out the bleach, um, which will hopefully make it last longer. So 
so the jeans are done. I have covered this leg in bleach and I'm gonna leave it for two hours and then wash it and I'll show you the results. That was great fun. Very therapeutic, loved every second. Right, the next thing Emma said to do was cook and I am going to be doing this to the minimal effort. I have made myself a sandwich. Mmm. I was thinking there's quite a few things I could have done instead. Like I was thinking of making Sandy a meatloaf, but, or a tofu loaf, but honestly I just can't be bothered. It's the, it's the afternoon now and Isaac's playing Sims, so now I wanna play Sims. And I was hungry, so I made myself a sandwich. Although me and Isaac are making a curry later, but I can't be bothered to film that and edit it, so. Enjoy my sandwich, it's a crisp sandwich with some corn turkey slices and some BioLife cheese and a bit of hummus and a bit of rocket and some really salted <laughs> crisps. And you go like this. Oh. Wow. The bread is also actually still frozen. <laughs> I definitely do actually like cooking. So I do appreciate that point as being something to do when you're bored. But honestly, I'm just exhausted and because I just got back from the stables. So I don't want to cook. I'm going to eat this and rate it out of 10 for you. ASMR. Mm. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Good sandwich. Other than the slightly frozen bread. Um, very nice. The hummus was a good touch. It's smoked hummus. Can't go wrong. Cool. Second to last thing is writing reviews. Now, I don't think I've ever really written a review other than when I've been asked to write a review, a review, so this will be an interesting experience. I never really write reviews because I think I'm just lazy and yeah. So I'm gonna write some reviews because they actually help out companies quite a lot, especially small businesses. They need their good reviews. I've got my buddy with me. Sandy. I'm going to start off by writing, re I'm sorry, I cannot stop spinning in the spinny chair. I'm going to write a review for the Oak Tree Restaurant. It's already got a 4.5 star review on TripAdvisor. Absolutely five stars, excellent service, amazing. Right, title of review, my favorite restaurant of all time. Great experience, amazing food. The service is always lovely. 10 out of 10 best vegan restaurant in my opinion submit i did it i wrote a review i'm so happy we're gonna do pureza pureza camden oh they've got 4.6 star rating title amazing in capital letters i think i might just write this entire view review in caps lock pizza is always incredible staff are always incredible I don't know what else to write. <laughs> love this place. My whole family really enjoys their pizzas, even as non-vegan. The staff are very helpful, have you picked your pizza, and the TV, the TV, TV rules are delightful. Unfortunately, don't live as close anymore, but still regularly travel to London to visit. Submit. I did it. I've done two reviews. Now, the last thing on the list of things Emma Chamberlain says to do when you're bored is to do your chores. And... My chore is to tidy my room because I, oh, look at the sleepy puppy. Sorry, anyway. Um, yeah, my room is a mess because um, me and Isaac had to go back to my uni the other day just to pick up some more stuff because when we first came back here, we didn't realize how long we were gonna be staying here for. We're probably gonna be here for months now. We don't even know. So we had to go back and get pick up more things. And I'm terrible at unpacking. Like I will just gradually like, pull stuff out the suitcase as I need it. Um, this morning I just tipped out the suitcase, so that's what that is. My room was incredibly, perfectly pristine and tidy and clean, literally the day before we went back to uni, but because I've, we've had to bring more stuff back again, it's just become a dump and it's not okay, it's really annoying, I'm not okay with that, I like having a tidy room, so we're gonna tidy it now. Oh, and also my jeans are outside. I don't really want to show you because it will spoil it, but I will show you them at the end. They look really good and I'm really excited. Let's just have a look at my room now. 
stuff everywhere. Small dog. Um, yeah. Three, two, one, you will be clean. Yay! Oh, don't leave. Oh, okay. I've tidied my room. Everything but the dog was gone, except now she's gone because she was fed up because I didn't give her any snacks and she's gone to find snacks somewhere else. But, yes. So much better. I feel so much happier and it literally only took me 10 minutes. Um, like, as in like literally 10 minutes to do that. Um, I also just realized that I skipped the photography part of Emma's video. Um, but this morning at like 8 a.m. me and Isaac had a little photo shoot in the garden. And so I'm gonna count that as the photography thing. Even though Isaac was the one taking the photos, I will just like insert the photo that I posted on my Instagram. But that's gonna be my application to say that I did the photography part of this video. Right, so now I'm just gonna show you the finished product of my jeans. Well, in about an hour for me, but like 10 seconds for you because they're still being bleached, but hang tight if you wanna see the results. Okay, the jeans are finally done. It's very late now, but I'm so happy. They've come out so, so well. So I can't actually do them up properly because one, I've just eaten and two, I've definitely put on weight since coming home. So just ignore the fact that the flies are slightly undone and they probably look like they're about to explode. But here's the jeans. <laughs> video i hope you enjoyed it feel free to follow me on instagram and stay safe and stay home Bye.